Our initial autopsy findings, and I'm going to be brief, okay, reveal uh, significant traumatic injuries to the neck. Coroner Dr. Jerry Satanovich announcing his initial findings of an autopsy of Keevan Robinson yesterday. Robinson was arrested by Jefferson Parish Sheriff's deputies last week during an altercation. He died. His death has now been ruled a homicide. Also during that news conference, Dr. Satanovich listed the differences between the legal definition and the forensic definition of a homicide. Dr. Satanovich is joining us on the phone now to talk about this case. And uh, uh, doctor, first of all, let, let's talk about exactly what your findings did reveal. Can you tell if if there were uh, hands around the neck or anything like that, or is, is that too hard to, to determine? Well, Eric, I think um, now I, we, we gave preliminary findings yesterday, and we're, we're leaving it at that um, because we don't want to get into detail one way or another. So I'm not saying yes, I'm not saying no. I, I, we're not getting into detail of of the autopsy findings beyond what we gave yesterday and again if there were any criminal charges that is not up to your office you just give the uh, police and the district attorney the best information you have on how this man died correct correct the, 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 any prosecution is up to the district attorney not the sheriff not the coroner and you said there's going to be weeks before you get toxicology back what will that tell you about this case it's just another data point that we would, would add in. I mean, we've got microscopic slides that we still need to look at of the lungs and other other body tissues, and we have uh, toxicology waiting to come back. It's just a part of doing a complete uh, uh, forensic examination of the deaths. And, of course, you treat every death um, uh, with, with, with great detail. But when it comes to, to an officer-involved uh, incident like this, I assume that's a little bit different than, than most killings. Well, I, I would say yes. Uh, I can't deny that I didn't uh, pause before I called the sheriff on Saturday to inform him of the results. Um, but uh, I'll tell you, he was, a, he, he, he was a professional. When I told him there was no attempt uh, of bargaining or, or, or asking us to reconsider or, or, or anything or a sugar coated. He basically took the results, asked a, a couple of detailed questions and said, I've got to go, I've got to get to work and, and do my job. And when we talk about asphyxiation, which is, uh, I, I, I believe that's what you said in this case, um, would that imply that there was some kind of strangulation? Um, there's a lot of different terms of asphyxia. Uh, I, I don't want to get into too many, but I mean, you, you, you know, suffocation, choking, uh, strangulation, these are all different types of asphyxia. Were, were there marks of any choking or is it, is it some other thing or you can't say right now? I, I, we're, we're not releasing any additional details on, on, on the actual autopsy beyond what we've done. And when you do an autopsy, autopsy like this, you do wait a couple of days to see if the family wants to bring in their own physician. Was that the case in, in this incident? Yeah, and that's just a standard policy for any in custody death. Um, you know, we you know, basically, you know, normally we do an autopsy the next day. What we do typically in these cases by policy is we you know, wait at least an extra day, inform the family, allow them the opportunity if they choose to have a uh, physician of their choice to observe the autopsy. And, and so you're not taking any side on this. You're just looking for the definitive medical proof of what happened in this case. Great. We, you know, the, you know the, the, the forensic pathologist speaks for the body. Okay. Dr. Satanovich, thank you very much. We appreciate talking to you. Thank you. Have a good day, Eric. All right. And we, we'll, we'll still, in a couple of weeks, we will find out a lot more about this case, correct? Uh, yes. All right. Thank you very much.